Hi, Candy Flames here today with another Yankee Candle chit chat and review and today we are talking about peppermint pinwheels. So welcome back if you've been here before and if you're new to my channel then welcome, I'm really pleased to have you here. I'm here for you every single Sunday reviewing Yankee Candles. So let's jump into this. We have the Snow Globe Wonderland collection for 2022, a collection of five and we're starting off today with the peppermint pinwheels. I'm going to review one for you every week and then on the sixth week we're going to bring back the whole collection and I'll talk about what I liked about it, what ones I thought were festive and traditional, what had the best throw. So if you think you'd like to see that don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. So hope everyone's had a good week out there and we'll jump straight in. This one, the description is, the scent of homemade peppermint pinwheel cookies are made sweeter when shared with friends and family. So let's talk about the looks of this. This one really jumped out the collection to me. Nice red traditional candle, beautiful label. You have some candy canes there. You can see a little bit of greenery from maybe a Christmas tree or a garland and there's baubles and these beautiful peppermint pinwheel cookies, which you can see I have not made. Um, so I was really interested in this one. I'm a big fan of peppermint uh, and all minty smells. I love them because I find them clean. Um, they sort of waken you up. I like them in the kitchen because I find that they can mask cooking smells. And if you've cooked anything that's a little bit strong, it's great to have a peppermint candle. It really does help to get rid of them all. So um, the notes, we have top notes of sparkling peppermint, melted butter, and sea salt. We have mid notes of kettle corn, crushed candy cane, winter mint and we have base of whipped vanilla dark chocolate and frosted spearmint so when i heard about the notes in here i just couldn't wait to try this one so what i will say on a cold sniff you can smell the peppermint but there is this um cookie note uh, it could be also coming from the kettle corn the popcorn there but there is this, if you know Yankee Candle, then you'll know what I mean when I say that there's a baked note, like a cooking baked scent to it. Um, some people love this and other people I know are not so keen on this note. But there is this, um, this cookie note in there. I find it quite nice. I do like the bakery scents that Yankee Candle do. But as I said, I know that some people um, do not like that baked note. And you know if you if you know yankee candle of old you will know what i mean so you can get that cookie note there when i lit it up um it's very well blended you can get the peppermint there definitely can get the peppermint and um i can definitely get this buttery smell so you've got the melted butter there and i can get that sort of buttery salty buttery smell um then you've got obviously the kettle corn which is popcorn you've got this more mint you've got the crushed candy canes the winter mint going on you've got this vanilla which is to keep it sweet um i will say i don't find it sweet enough i can smell this very sort of cookie peppermint smell i would have maybe liked it to be a little bit sweeter unfortunately i cannot get any dark chocolate i would have loved to experience that um, and the frosted spearmint yes that sort of goes in the category of the mint smell but it is um, if you're looking for a fresh mint a real sort of minty mint candle this isn't it because the cookie note there like I say is very dominant this cookie this melted butter kettle corn sea salt so it is them two are the more dominant smells the peppermint with with the cookie and uh, butter smell um, it is nice it's uh, very pleasant and I do find it actually quite festive quite traditional um, I always love at Christmas time these beautiful smells of Christmas cooking or sweets going on and this one does fall into that category I really do love my foodie candles so I knew I was going to like this um, and I do like it and would I repurchase it I think at the right price maybe I would um, Am I blown away by it? Do I absolutely love it? No, um, it's just okay. It's beautiful looking. It has a nice scent. The throw, I would give it a six on the throw for me. Um, once you've got a big, you know, big pool going on, a nice deep pool, when uh, it's been going sort of three to four hours, that's when it's really at its strongest. 
and it can sort of maybe go up to sort of from a six maybe to, maybe to a seven um but yes if you like peppermint smells and you like cookie combine them together because this is what that is so um the atmosphere it brings like i say just that sort of festive atmosphere that sort of bakery cooking smell going on welcoming inviting that sort of vibe what room would i put it in it works definitely great in the kitchen dining room also works in the living room if you really want this in your bedroom go ahead i personally would not put this in the bathroom i just don't do foodie candles in the bathroom i just don't feel it works but um yeah this could go in any room of your house so it's quite versatile very nice looking candle so if you have tried this one let me know what you think um was you blown away by it is it just okay let me know and i will get back to you in the comments um but yeah you know um it's, it's a nice candle not really wowed but um i am pleased with it so yeah do try it and let me know what you think so next week i'm coming back with i'm not sure yet but it will either be the snow globe wonderland or the um sponge sugar flurries i think it's called i will be back with one of them next week to review for you then i will be coming back with uh because i've got to buy the other two yet i am going to get the i think it's the winter night stars is it i'm going to get that in the tumbler version um because i have heard that is winter night stars yes i have heard that one is slightly weaker um, and I want to experience one of these tumblers and I'm going to trust all the reviews out there that it is quite poor on the throw So I'm going to go for that one in a tumbler and see if that makes any difference But the rest will all be in this original jar Let me know if you tried any and what you think to them But yeah next week I'll either be back with snow globe wonderland or I think I might do that one I'm not sure sponge sugar flurries. We'll see but I, what I will tell you is one of them I was quite disappointed in and the other one I was really blown away with like really blown away where I've already been stocking up on it so uh, yeah you'll have to wait and see so have a really good week everybody and uh, I will be back next week bye